we're seeking to recruit 90 individuals uh, into our clinical trial. So these will be individuals with hay fever that uh, is worse during the summer months, so during the grass pond season, that's sufficiently bad that it impacts upon their quality of life and their activities and for which they have to take medication. And these individuals will receive either uh, seven or eight injections of the grass pollen vaccine or uh, seven or eight injections of the dummy vaccine for comparison. And that will be happening before the 2013 pollen season, although we're recruiting now. And then we'll be monitoring those individuals over that summer to see if their hay fever symptoms are improved. Hay fever affects a quarter of the population, so some 15 million people have this problem. Of those, around about half have what we call moderate severe symptoms, so those symptoms are sufficient that they will impact upon people's quality of life, such as their, you know, their work, their sleep and what have you. Symptoms of seasonal allergic colitis include nasal congestion or blockage, sneezing and itching in the nose. Also running can be a, a prominent feature. In around half of individuals there's also eye symptoms as well, so this can be itching and swelling of the eyes. This is called allergic conjunctivitis. The basis of the Pollen Light study uh, is a paper that's being published today in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology. And in this study, what we did is we took a group of uh, 30 individuals and we divided them into three groups. All of these individuals had grass pollen uh, hay fever symptoms. And what we did is we gave them injections of a very tiny amount of grass pollen into uh, a higher layer of the skin called the dermis. This is a higher layer than is traditionally uh, used for, for allergy vaccination. And we repeated these injections every two weeks. And in one group, we repeated it every two weeks for six visits. And the, others, the other groups were essentially control groups, they were comparator groups. And what we found that was that in those individuals who had the injections repeated, the size of the skin response, so the reaction to the allergen, the allergic reaction to the allergen in the skin become, became very profoundly inhibited over the course of those six visits, whereas in those individuals who just had either one or two injections separated by 10 weeks, there was no inhibition of this response. So it seems that by repeating this very small amount of allergen injected superficially in the skin, we get a very profound inhibition of the, of the local reaction to the allergen. So now in the pollen light study we are asking whether we can reproduce this uh, phenomenon but also whether we can improve hay fever symptoms in these individuals because it's all very well demonstrating inhibition in the skin. The big question is whether this also suppresses allergen reactivity in the nose where the disease happens. Allergen immunotherapy or allergen desensitization has been around for over 100 years. It was first described at St. Mary's Hospital and the traditional vaccine is given uh, by deep subcutaneous injection uh, with high doses of grass pollen or other allergens um, such as tree pollen. More recently there are sublingual vaccines uh, available. These are also high dose and given daily uh, in that case under the tongue. Now the difference with this vaccine is that we're giving really a tiny, tiny dose compared to what is traditionally used and we're also doing it in a different part of the skin. So we believe, and our, our hypothesis in the study is that by injecting the allergen higher up into the skin, it accesses the immune system much more rapidly and, the, and can have a more potent desensitizing effect. And because of that, we anticipate that possibly six or seven injections should be enough to switch off hay fever symptoms. At least that's our hypothesis. The advantages for the patient could be that they need fewer administrations of the allergen. So in this trial, we're actually giving seven or eight injections before the pollen season at two weekly intervals. So that compares favorably with most of the injection vaccines that are already used. Uh, so one of the other things that could be advantageous in this treatment is that uh, one can see a, a response in the skin being induced by the vaccine that diminishes over time. So in, in effect, it's like a marker of desensitization. Um, at a wider level, what we're seeking to do is establish a completely new concept for the treatment 
of allergic diseases, which we hope we can extend beyond hay fever and into other allergies. So pollen light trial is not just about hay fever, it's about trying to establish a new scientific principle. Low-dose intradermal allergen vaccination, such as in the pollen light trial, has the potential to be less invasive, more convenient and cheaper for the, for the NHS, but also uh, has the potential to identify uh, a new type of treatment for allergic diseases in general. But we also think that this is tremendously exciting from a scientific viewpoint and could establish a new principle uh, in immunology research. 